Hello everyone, welcome to VV.net Tutorials. Today we are going to talk about how to deal with menus and dialog boxes. In order to do that we are going to write a simple notepad application, we'll call it my notepad. Uh, we will not uh, go into the programming details of that, but rather we will be concerned with the controls themselves. In the next tutorial we will look uh, more into the programming aspects okay so let's start first of all we go to file select new project make sure it's windows for application and give it the name my notepad press enter and this is it you can see the main form of course the title is not suitable so we we'll change the text property of our form and this one will be my notepad enter let's go back and see our form how does it look like and this is it this is how it looks like let's save our work press save and then press the save button okay that's it our next step involves creating the text box where we will write our text um, well, the text box, let me see, PQRST, this is it. This is a text box. Now, what do we notice about this is that uh, you can resize the text box uh, horizontally but not vertically. This is because by default it supports single line. You can make it support multiple lines by changing its multi line property from false to true. And as soon as you do that and Come back to the interface you can see that there are handles that allows you to change its height so try to make it as big as the whole screen okay so now let's run the application and test how it works well write anything and you can see it's working perfectly fine so it's almost a complete uh, notepad but we have a simple problem it's that when we resize our form uh, the text box doesn't resize uh, correctly as well. So, uh, to solve this, there is something called the anchor property. And what that does, it tells the control how to resize itself in such a way uh, so that it keeps a constant distance from the other sides of the parent control. I mean by parent control is the main window, it's the parent, and this text box is the child. So it keeps a constant distance from the parent and uh, let's see how it works by selecting the text box uh, go to the properties window and check out the anchor control you can see top and left this means that the child control which is the text box keeps constant distance from the top and left side of uh, the form but what about the bottom and right when you change these uh, the text box doesn't change its size so modify it to be the four sides press enter okay and now if you try to change the size of the window at design time okay uh, let's change the size you can see the text box reflects our changes now let's run the application to see at runtime what happens well, you can see it's working perfectly fine. Okay, so we set the anchor to be from top, left, right, and bottom. This means it will always have constant distance. Our text box will always have constant distance from top, left, right, bottom of the form. Okay, uh, this is what does it mean. It might be confusing at first, but after a while, you will get used to it. Okay. So after finishing uh, doing that, we will add the menu. And to add the menu, you will search for something called menu strip. Okay, and this is the menu strip. Okay, uh, when you drop it, you will get this little line over here for the menu. And down here, you will see this uh, this icon or this shape. And the name of your menu is menu strip one. Okay, this controls the whole menu. Now, 
to work with the menu you can see that text box is over it a little so let's resize it so that it shows the menu strip you click on the menu you can see type here it means you start designing your menu right away by typing so what are we gonna do is write the file sorry I hit the uh, sorry about that gosh uh, too many errors close it this one delete okay so it was like this what are we gonna do is start typing right away so this is file enter and under, you, you can see as soon as you uh, add a menu item entry uh, you can expand it, it horizon, uh, horizontally or vertically so let's add the edit right here okay so, so this is the file this is the edit so let's come back here and add the uh, new below that will be open below that will be save finally close as for the edit we will have something to control the font and something uh, to control the <coughs> uh, copy operation cut operation and paste Okay, finally let's add the help. The help contains a bot. Okay, so this is it. Uh, we can make our menu a little bit more fashionable by adding separators. To do so, just type a minus sign. And when the line appears, you can drag and uh, drop the line or you can move any of the commands here. I will move the close button down. Okay, you can see the separator see I'll make another separator and move that after the new okay so this is how our menu is gonna look like okay as for the edit I'm gonna put one separator and that will be here okay it's up to you you can design uh, in any way you like okay let's test our application right now so you can see file new file open file save file close so we have to find the buttons but there is no processing for these because we didn't write any code to tell how to handle the e their events and to do so it's very easy let's first uh, handle the events for new and the close so double click on new when we press the new uh, button okay uh, let me remove this code. Uh, this one happens by mistake. Okay, let me do it correctly this way. Uh, when we press new, we want to create the content of this text box. Okay, so what th what is the name of this text box? Check out the properties window, and you can see that its name is text box one. We haven't changed the name property for it, so we will use this text box one. You can change the name if you would like to, but it's a uh, for now we uh, I'm just a little, bit, uh, a little bit lazy so file okay and double click the new now you get this even handler for the new command so the code will be text box one dot text equals nothing we finish the first part for the second part which is the, cl uh, the close double click on that just give it the end command okay let's test our code so run okay file new let's write something dim file new you can see everything is gone file closed the application terminates no problem with that well next we will work with the save and open to perform a save operation you need to do two things first you should know where to save your file uh, the save file dialog helps you with that so search in the controls and see 